Those on the left continue to say, well, Donald Trump is the bad guy. He's the authoritarian that's going to make everyone's life a living H-E-double-L should he be elected again. Last I checked, he didn't do this to Hillary Clinton. And by the way, he could have. He didn't. I actually spoke to him about it. And you want to know what he told me? He said, look, this is America, Trish. But I have a feeling, I have a feeling he gets back in there again. And yeah, it will be game over because they've run amok. They have treated our legal system like a total joke. And we've become effectively the banana republic that we should never, ever be at risk of becoming. But here's the, the MSNBC guy, their historian, saying, oh, no, no, he's authoritarian. He's the problem. Watch. And joining us now, NBC News chief political analyst Chuck Todd, also Douglas Brinkley, a presidential historian and professor of history at Rice University. So, uh, Douglas, how do you see this extraordinary day? I mean, it is a day where we're seeing history in the making. How do you read it? Well, I preferred the solar eclipse last week. Uh, now we're in a, a really tawdry case. Um, the fact that we're bringing up all the hush money payments and we're hearing porn star or what do we call it all over again. Um, I think it matters, though. It's, it's really pointing to, once again, that Donald Trump's character doesn't exist that there's a, a, a bit of shamelessness, he's misogynistic, he attacks people's families, he knows no bounds, and he tries to behave in an authoritarian manner. What will it mean? First question, can we get an uncontaminated jury pool in an age of social media where people dig? You're hiring people now to see if you ever had a friend of a friend uh, who said something to try to stall and delay if you're Trump. He also knows, um, the former president knows the cameras are on him. That tie we just mentioned could go on sale for a million dollar donation for Trump tie from court day. Uh, so there is a circus atmosphere to it. But the seriousness is this guy is the presumptive head of the party of Abraham Lincoln, who for the first time ever, we're having to witness um, this sort of, uh, um, you know, long drawn out uh, series of court cases. So it leaves you wondering why Trump doesn't lose voters this coming week. Uh, but I doubt he will, because people are pretty baked in on whether they what, how they think about the former president. And let's talk about lose voters like if anything i actually think what this is doing <clears throat> mr brinkley presidential historian that you are what it's actually doing here is it's bringing more people from the middle over to the right because they're looking at this and they're saying whoa like our system has run amok this has gotten so crazy and so political and this poor guy just keeps coming back saying all right bring it on bring it on bring it on i'm here I'm ready, I'm willing, and I'm the only one that's willing to stand up to the insanity that is America right now, that is this so-called whatever you want to call it. Let's go with swamp, for lack of a better term. I mean, who the heck would want to be in politics today? They'll destroy you. They'll ruin you. They'll ruin your family. They'll take you to court. They'll bankrupt you. Why would you ever do this? And they're looking at him and saying, well, he's clearly crazy because he's willing to stay in it. I mean, maybe he is because I don't know a lot of people that would be willing to put up with what he's had to put up with, which is why you see over and over again when you see at these rallies all across America and MSNBC doesn't understand this. Well, why do people like him so much? Why do they feel like he's the only one fighting for them? Because he is. Because he actually is willing to take this on the system be damned. And so they, meaning the left, the politicians that want to control everything, are going to try and take them down. And you know what? I, here I am. I'm going to tell you, I'm not sugarcoating anything. They could. They very well could. You're looking at a New York jury, ladies and gentlemen. You get a New York judge whose daughter profits off of all this and clearly, I guarantee you, has his own bias. So if you get so many cards stacked against you, what happens then? He'd have to hope that the appellate court would reverse it. What if they don't? You're looking at a GOP nominee 
that's been convicted of a possible crime that's going to be running from jail? I mean, they're trying to get this conviction. Let's be very clear. Before, before November. And let's also be very clear. He's not going anywhere. So he's going to continue running regardless of what happens, including if he's running from a jail cell. <laughs> he's told us that. And I'll, I'm just going to tell you this, like every which way you look at this, Americans keep saying, I mean, what's our alternative? What is our alternative? It's Joe Biden. Do you see the polls out now? Only 25% of the country actually thinks he's doing better than Donald Trump. Huh. No one thinks Joe Biden is doing a good job. No one. And so while he got a little bit of a bump, a little bit of a bump after his State of the Union, the reality is this. America does not think he's doing a good job.